How's it going guys? It's Ryan here and welcome to episode number three of the road to 2.147 billion GP drop tab. That was a clip of me killing my teammates at Virago because first clip, spoiler alert, will be my first ever successful Virago kill. Mad shout out to the guys at Phenomenal Bomb for actually teaching me how to kill the boss. It was super, super cool to actually be able to get a kill. Uh, I showed some kills in episode number one, but those weren't legit kills. Like, they didn't actually finish. They were all failures. Those were hard mode Virago kills, and yeah, none of them were successes. Uh, but yeah, this is my first ever kill, the first ever push, and I think it went pretty well overall, and I actually managed to get myself a drop as well, which was super cool. I uh, got myself some Onyx Bolts. Alright guys, now as this was the first episode that Telos has been released for, I thought we'd kick this one off with a little compilation of Telos doing horrible things to me on day of release. Like that horrible thing. Let's do it. Being hard. Oh god damn it, I'm dead. Yep, gone. Ooh, that's not bad. Might hit me. Oh my god, a 6k. Don't end my life, Telos. A few inches later. Oh, I'm dead. Wow. I got comboed. Yeah, you know, there's hope. Maybe I clutch it out. Oh my god. I'm dead. 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 Oh my god! 9k! What the fuck? Oh, I'm dead. I'm so dead. 100% dead, yeah. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm the greatest. Alrighty guys, I'm pretty sure this is the last non-live comp clip in this entire video, so I'm talking over it at the moment. This is my first time ever pet tanking at Beastmaster Durzeg, and I was really nervous going into it. I had no idea what to expect. People were like, chill out, man, you'll be fine. Just don't worry about it too much. And then they'd be like, but remember, don't get us all killed. And I'd be like, oh my god, this can be the worst thing of all time. Turns out it's an absolute joke. I literally put on prey range and AFK. It is the best roll of all favorite role by far and it went really well and we also got some decent loot to boot uh so yeah it was it was a really great success overall so now let's get back into the live comp stuff rest the video telos was just successfully killed with uh yeah with his ami spear so do i continue the challenge no not enough time in my aura there is 2.3 mil in the bank we have cashed out I'm gonna cash out there. Alrighty guys, I have decided I wanna get some more corruption sigils to make more defenders because right now I only have the melee one and I wanna get the other ones as well. I want the full set. Uh, so yeah, let's open up the chest and see what we get. This is just the first chest, so probably nothing's gonna happen. Uh, but yeah, we will take all and then yeah, we're just gonna continue, keep going. All right, chest number three, here we go. Ooh, look at that, Guthan's War Spear, that's not too bad. That is like a nice 500k going in the tab. All right, chest number four. Oh, look at that, Guthan's Helm. I mean, it's not worth much, but uh, you know, right after Guthan's War Spear, we'll get the full set. All right, guys, chest number six. What are we gonna get? We are going to get a Torex plate body. Look at that, that's worth three mil. Are you kidding me? Oh man, I've, I've actually made like almost four and a half mil in like 20 minutes of Barrows. This is, this is going real well, I would say. Look at this invent, I'm getting so lucky right now. All right, guys, chest number nine. Here we go. In for corruption sigil. There we go. All right, guys, welcome to episode number three. This probably won't be like the first clip, but probably like the second or third clip. Uh, but yeah, what I wanted to do really quick is I wanted to go and buy myself an incomplete Hydrix just because that's like a lot of money that I could just straight up add to the tab. Uh, really, really helps bulk things up because if you take a look at this right here, uh, that is a really nice 23.2 two mil. All right guys, so I just did a chain of Tello skills. It's 4.22 in the morning right now, so I'm going to bed now. So whatever the drop is, looks like it's gonna be rune maces. Uh, so yeah, that's actually a really, really good drop to get. 1.8 mil almost. Uh, I'm gonna cash that out, so some nice bank. Right, guys, I'm risking it with the onslaught just for fun, really. I mean, it's still early going, so there's really no point doing this, but for, for fun reasons. Here we go, and we didn't die. Great, didn't lose the kill. Uh, so why don't we check the loot right here and see what we will get, what the spooter will give us. Nothing good at all. Wow, that's actually terrible. Alrighty guys, that is the end of the Reaper assignment. 23k Slayer EXP and 25 Reaper points, not bad at all. I don't have any loot chained up because I just did, I did five kills last night, chained all those ones up, and then yeah, this is just like one freelance kill, so whatever we get, we're keeping. Looks like it is gonna be 78 Dwarf Weeds. We are just gonna claim that loot. Uh, so yeah, not bad at all. Hey guys, another kill down, not too bad. Let's check the loot and hopefully get a world broadcast. Note, two Onyxes though, that's a really, really nice drop. And the 15 Brew Flasks, that's like one of the best drops you can get that is not a spider like piece or a fang. So really, I can't complain. Alrighty guys, this is gonna be the last kill of the instance. Just about done here, taste my wrath. Let's see what we're gonna get as loot. Hey, it's a massive beam that's an effigy. 
Oh, that feels bad, man. I thought it was like a turbo plate or something. I mean, look at that. That does not look like an effigy. It looks like something awesome. It was the plate body and the massive beam. I was like, turbo plate. Oh. Oh. Never, never mind. That's going to be one full complete hour of Telos. Uh, so as you can see, my aura expired like half a minute ago. So it's basically an hour. And yeah, what we've done is we've actually held the loot every single time as we've increased the Enrage. Uh, so what that means is all of the loot from that full hour is going to be right up here. So that's going to tell us how much profit per hour Telos is. Uh, so this was my gear once again. I've got augmented Virtus stuff, and then I've got Tectonic Mask, Noxious Staff, and uh, the whole rest. And I was doing Shark Kills as well, which is really, really nice. I've got lots of food left, but that is the end of the hour. That's the end of the aura. Uh, so yeah, let's see what the reward is going to be. And then just see how much money we made in one hour when I claim all the loot. Uh, so here, stop spinning. Red Dragon Hide, kill streak of five. We made a total of three mil which is honestly not bad at all all right guys the next thing that happened is i actually killed 100 revenant dragons i was really interested in the drop rates and turns out the drop rates are terrible because i didn't get a single anything in 100 kills the only cool thing that happened is i actually got pk'd by a viewer and he apologized to me the next day and if you're watching this no problem man it's all good Acid wave with melee is a lot of fun you basically just assault and destroy and the spider dies really really easy uh so yeah there we go not too bad third kill of the day uh, it is good rotation, so you know, I'm doing a good amount of kills. And look at that, 114 constitution. That is beautiful. Uh, so yeah, let's check the body and see what we're going to get. Three Serenic Scales. Beautiful loot right there. Every time I get a level, I get a nice loot at Araxi, so that's awesome. And 14 brews as well, so that's 29 brew flasks just from the last two kills. Lol, almost actually died at Araxi, so that's pretty funny. First kill of the day. What are you doing, Ryan? I'm risking it at low HP, that's never a good thing to do. Uh, but there we go, we got the kill down, so why don't we check the loot, see what we're gonna get. Hey, It actually happened! That's amazing! So now I've got two spider leg pieces, one more, and I can make either a bow or a staff. That is absolutely brilliant, feels good man. Valued at approximately 50 million GP. I was totally not expecting that first kill tonight, but that's exactly what I wanted to happen. So yeah, that's that's awesome. That is absolutely, I cannot complain at all. Beautiful stuff. Imagine if I died on Araxi there. That would have made me so sad. Uh, but yeah, there we go. Finally getting some spider leg luck. That is super nice. I was going to price check it. I guess you can't really do that. But guys, I have deposited the spider leg piece in the tab, which is always good to do. Always a nice thing. Look at this Araxor loot. Not bad at all. Alright guys, what I'm going to do now is quickly scroll through, pan through the entire loot tab. I wanted to quickly say I'm going to organize it by the end of the next episode so that everything will actually be in like an order of value and stuff so it'll be easier to look at. I'm sorry for how messy it is. Uh, but yeah, quickly scrolling through right now and I'm also going to show you guys the total value which was 215 mil. Uh, so anyway guys, next episode should be out in 4 or 5-ish days. Have a good one guys and as always, peace out. Thanks for watching.